BBC Radio 1 Extra. Extra dubstep. If you're easily offended by bad language, we advise you to log on to bbc.co.uk slash one extra to listen back to another one extra show.
let's introduce the final team to be representing. We go to Team Bristol. Hello, Southwest. Yo, yo, Bristol in the building. So who we got representing yeah, yeah, for Team yeah, Bristol yeah. tonight? Yo, we got my MCs. Scars, live all. And you got Bugsy the Jizzle. Woo! And you got the big Jemmy. And then you got myself, Mensa, repping hard Bristol all day long. Bristol, mm. stand up. Please. Big up Lindsay in the studio as well. You're done now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, why is Bristol going to win this tonight? Oh, we d we're just going to let the music do the talking, you know. And my MCs, like, I don't really want to say anything and hype it. No, nah, I, think, I think we come here as the underdogs, innit? Yeah, so, so, like, we have to just come and rep Bristol hard, you get me? Now, yeah. I do have to say that all of the other teams have been kind of hyping it up and hyping it up on Twitter, but you've been quite quiet. Because we don't need to talk. It's the yeah. music. You know, yeah, exactly. Jam, you already yeah. know Bristol comes. Strong, come on, jam, yeah. jam. You know how we do this already. You get me. You I come, am completely I seen you at Marshall tonight. Not too long ago. I'm okay. completely All impartial right. tonight. Well, they know how Bristol <laughs> do. Hey, listen, anyway. BMS representation in this thing. We come to show you our gun anyway. You're done now. Bristol, your three minutes start now. It goes boom, boom, boom. Not some road, so I be got the goon. Yeah. Bristol live, Radio One. It's the jizzle. Bristol's off of the game, no one's passing up. Ah, gah, 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 gah. It's the chisel, the chisel. Shout out to everyone back home in Bristol, locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Big up yourself. Shout out to my girl Holly at her home. Teed up. Yeah. Hey man, so we come out for war. We come for war then. Go. <laughs> Walk one. You got to know. I'm a serial killer. Oh. killer, 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 killer. Faded, faded, faded. Oh, so that was round one, the heavy hitter. Round they were given three off. minutes to just go for it. And Zed Bias, you, you are our adjudicator tonight. How, how are you feeling? Well, that, that was gloves off. Everyone's coming with it, isn't they, Jem? They're coming for war. Yeah, yeah. From round one onwards, they're just going for it. Yeah. No, that was, uh, that was a tough one to call. Okay, so let's, let's break it down room by room. London went in with the Renegade VIP. Um, well, yeah, they went in with the VIP. Um, and um, then it was uh, then it was Midlands. the Midlands' room. Doctor P, Big Boss, looks pretty, yeah, and I can't stop. tunes already. They're yeah. already doing damage out there. And then and then the, the oh dear, the Scallies over there. The Manchester boys. Wow, <laughs> they're making a lot of noise. I can hear them through the window right, right now. <laughs> yeah. 
And then um, Bristol, what can I say? Bristol played, they started to play a Flux Pavilion tune and then yeah. ripped the needle off. I'm a serial killer. Yeah, that was that was clever. But yeah, everybody's coming with it first round. It's war talk. Let's see what people are saying out there. Now, Zed, you're from Milton Keynes, but you live in Manchester, so can we trust you to be neutral tonight? Absolutely. Are you sure? Yeah. You give me. Well, they're, they're all rolling in crews, so I've got, I've got to be completely neutral. <laughs> and you're rolling you know by I mean? yourself, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, we need you to help influence Zed's decision as to who won that round. You can text us. 81199 is the text number. Sarah is going through all of the texts as we speak. You can also get on the One Extra Facebook page and leave a comment. If you search on Facebook for BBC Radio One Extra. If you're on Twitter as well, it's at 1XTRA.
okay. This guy thinks I'm a prick, okay. I don't say nothing, but just okay. Cause the game sick, he's just okay. Don't know why MCs wanna try sending a set to the team of the thing's okay. When a man catch me, I don't get I'm just like, right, say cool, okay. Then I flip black, you say it's okay. 22 shots in your head, it's okay. Man said he's gonna kill me on the MSN, so I take back and I go, okay. Man, my thing that I fight, okay. My man still on the hype, okay. Came in a room, dark KO. Now I'm in dark, and even if he's okay.
my word. You don't know. The Tilly Dale. Outside Corey, yes, son. Get a lot of things like them, man. New room general, this is the damn stem shit, watch me. Yo, odd, odd, get a lot of things like them, man. Odd, 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 like them, man. Odd, 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 get a lot of things like them, man. Odd, man, a lot of things like them, man. Odd, everybody's a thing like them, man.
是是。
She is one of the first ever female comic book villains and is often caught up in a complex love-hate relationship with the Dark Knight. One of the few joys I have in life is when his rich, manly baritone caresses my ears with, Catwoman, you're under arrest. Oh, it makes everything worthwhile. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll explore the comic book origins of Catwoman. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline of Selina Kyle, Catwoman's first and most popular identity, which was introduced in Batman No. 1 and expanded on in Detective Comics and Catwoman the Series. Born in Gotham City, Selina's early life was filled with tragedy. In her youth, her mother committed suicide and her father drank himself to death shortly afterward. Calling the police for help, she decided to pack her bags and run away before the police could arrive. Living on the streets and surviving through petty crime, she eventually used her sharp wits and amazing natural ability as a gymnast to become the slickest cat burglar the police department. She shared her ill due to her moral with the Cape Crusader which had the recovered memories from a
I'll see you switching to your tubes as soon as you spawn and I'm like, shut you. Sure. I guess the bullets in your gun just worrying enough. I'm like, shut you and your launch your tubes. Right. I shoot my arrows in the air sometimes saying, hey, oh, creepers kill.
This man is going to be live in session. He goes under the moniker Tactus and the track's called Destiny of Doom. He runs a brilliant label called Abaga Records. Abaga? It specialises in bass music and the best thing about it, they give away tons of music for free almost every week. It's www.abagarecords.com if you want to grab some tasty wee treats. Fabio and Groove Rider are up next. See ya!
He's a drummer and a phenomenal dubstep producer, Dunt, D-U-N-T. I met him once, nice guy too. That's from the Cave Dweller EP, which is out now via abagarecords.com. A-B-A-G-A records.com. It's a track called The Fat Man, which I'll dedicate to my producer. <laughs> I had to do that. Oh dear. Childish. That's it for tonight's show. Benji B is up next. You can check out the website for the track listings and to listen again, bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1 slash Vic Galloway. Link to my free podcast from there as well, Scotland Introducing. It's free. And you can hit me on MySpace and Twitter as well. Next week, I've got this man in session, Yusuf Azak, and this is a track called Eastern Sun. Thanks for listening.